Ocean Transport ISF Filing Requirements ISF stands for Importer Security Filing, which is a mandatory electronic data transmission that provides information about the cargo, the importer, the seller, the buyer, and other parties involved in the shipment. ISF is also known as 10 plus 2, because it consists of 10 data elements from the importer and 2 data elements from the carrier. ISF is required for all ocean shipments arriving in the United States, except for bulk cargo and break bulk cargo. ISF helps the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, to identify high-risk shipments and prevent terrorism, smuggling, and other illegal activities. ISF must be filed at least 24 hours before the cargo is loaded on the vessel at the foreign port. If the ISF is filed late, incomplete, or inaccurate, the importer may face penalties of up to $5,000 per violation, cargo holds, inspections, or even seizure of the cargo. The responsibility for filing the ISF lies with the importer of record, which is the person or entity that owns or purchases the cargo, or has a direct or indirect interest in the cargo. However, the importer can also authorize a third party, such as a customs broker or a freight forwarder, to file the ISF on their behalf. To file the ISF, the importer or the authorized agent needs to have an account with the CBP's Automated Commercial Environment ACE, system, which is the online portal for submitting trade-related data to the CBP. The importer or the agent also needs to have a valid bond, which is a financial guarantee that the importer will comply with the ISF requirements and pay any penalties for non-compliance. The ISF consists of the following 10 data elements from the importer. Seller name and address, buyer name and address, importer of record number, consignee number, manufacturer or supplier name and address, ship to name and address, country of origin, commodity harmonized tariff schedule, HTS, number, container stuffing location and consolidator name and address. And the following two data elements from the carrier. Vessel stow plan and container status messages only. The ISF data elements must be accurate and match the information on the commercial invoice, the packing list, the bill of lading, and the entry summary. The ISF data elements can be amended or updated if there are any changes in the shipment information before the arrival of the cargo in the U.S. The ISF is separate from the entry summary, which is another electronic data transmission that provides information about the duty, tax, and fee calculation for the shipment. The entry summary must be filed within 15 days after the arrival of the cargo in the U.S. The ISF and the entry summary are both necessary for the clearance of the shipment at the U.S. port of entry. Filing the ISF correctly and timely can help the importer to avoid delays, fines, and inspections, and to ensure a smooth and secure import process. To learn more about the ISF and the customs clearance process, you can visit our website at ISF Entry, where you can find more tips, guides, and resources for importers and freight forwarders.